Now here's a fun experiment dealing with light and particles of light. And we're going to use this experiment to explain Bohr models. So here I have three laser pointers. I have a red laser pointer, I have a violet laser pointer, and I have a green laser pointer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these laser pointers and I'm going to just kind of draw a picture on these different pages. Notice that the red laser pointer doesn't really do anything to the pages. The green laser pointer seems a little bit powerful, but it, it also really doesn't do anything to the pages. If I take the violet laser pointer, you might be able to see that I can actually draw on these pages. Now these pages are painted with phosphorescent paint. Now, why this relates to Bohr models is because of electrons. If you remember when we draw a Bohr model, and I'm going to draw a quick one right now, Bohr models have energy levels, and in each of these energy levels is electrons. And those electrons can get excited if you give them enough energy. Now, the red laser pointer and the green laser pointer don't have enough energy to excite the electrons in these phosphorescent paint. But the violet laser pointer does. The violet laser pointer has enough energy to cause those electrons to jump to a higher energy level. Now they don't want to stay there. In fact, what they'll do is they'll release that energy in the form of light in order to fall down to a lower level. Now the phosphorescent paint allows that energy to be released slowly, which is why we're able to see trails of light.